I do agree though. Like, go shoot your shot. Like, oh my life, go get you, go get baby girl, man. Wine and dine, serenade that mind, and put it in one time on my mama. That's not no kid. Don't tell nobody. That's not no kid. She's a junior in high school. Oh well, shit, she. When you turn eighteen, don't watch this video till you turn eighteen. I hit hard, bars, you can't tell me nothing Spit fire, burning shit like a fucking toaster Your main bitch wanna pull me closer What's good, Mo Mafia? It's your girl, Mo And today I'm back with another Tell It To Mo Tuesday I got Mac in the cut, you know, special guest on the channel Once again Now, what I'm gonna do for y'all Is I'm gonna play these videos and me and Matt going to give our opinion on the situation. The situation. Situation in French. Don't fucking start. <laughs> Retarded. All right. First one. Let me see. Send it to me so I can send it to uh, somebody. Damn, I was mesmerized by that. Okay, what was we doing? Bro? Focus. Focus. Revamp your life. I'm going to airdrop you these videos. Your phone louder, ain't it? My phone's better. Let me see. Let me see your phone. Why? So I can airdrop you these videos. This is iPhone Galaxy 16. I really can't stand this nigga. You're a weirdo. All right, first one. Boom. All right, so I got my little main shorty or whatever, and I got my jaw. My side jaw or whatever, you feel me? And me and my main shorty, like, we barely talking now. Like, we used to talk all the time, you feel me? And now we not even talking. And now I got this side jaw. Like, we talk if she said every day. Time. Like, I mean, from morning tonight you feel me like we just be talking chopping it up for me shit like that my question to you is like i ain't trying to get my feelings too involved with the side joint because you know she got a shitty or whatever you know i'm trying to play my role as you know the side nigga you feel me so what the fuck should i do you want to go first or you want me to go first Lady first. No, don't do too much. Okay. You're a lady. You Shut have up. A, a JJ, don't you? Okay. A cooter. All right. A box. Shut up, man. All right, look. So you got a side joint, right? You you got a main joint, shorty. You got a main shorty. Now you and your side joint talk all the time. And you and your main shorty ain't really connecting like that. What do you do? I think that if shorty, your main chick, ain't doing what she need to do up to partner, you could drop her. You know what I'm saying? But you also said your side joint got a girlfriend, right? I mean, you could either let it play out and do it. You know what I'm saying? Do do what you're going to do, whatever your relationship is. Or you could, you know what I'm saying? Drop main shorty. I mean, if you don't love her, or you just play your part, man. Let it roll. Let it rock. I don't. I don't really know what. What you think? Now you know. You know, I've never been in that situation, so I don't really know. Now you know me, a Mac for a reason. You know what I mean, you Here know, you, you know my lifestyle, baby. You know what I mean. Now what? Here he goes. What I do, I keep main shorty. You know what I mean, and see what's up with her. Because one. Y'all probably quit talking because you're taking your time away from her. And now you're giving it to the new chick. You know what I mean? Right. So she she knows that. If you know that it's shit not right, she know it too. You know what I mean? So you got to make sure she not looking for what you was giving her outside somewhere else, first of all. Because she probably out looking for it because you're not giving it to her no more. And second chick, the side joint, whatever. She, that's all that is. That's all it's going to be. That's all it's ever going to be. I'm recording this video. I'm going to call you right She back. ain't never going to leave. All right. The little whoop that she so what, she's listen, fine. she's um she's never gonna leave what she got for you, cause you just some for right now like that's how it is yo you can't expect I mean to be number one in her life when you, it doesn't work like that so it's two separate relationships 
Focus on your relationship. Get that shit right. If it ain't right, I mean, you feel like getting it right. If it ain't worth it, then move around. I mean, you keep your little sad little piece to hit a now and then, you know what I mean? But don't put too much effort in it. Don't put no relationship into it because that's where you're going to fuck up at. She uh, got her people. She got her girl that she in love with already. Right. You something on the side. Right. You, you ain't the main course. You the goddamn it. You the eggs or some shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> You eggs for the salad. All right. I feel you. All right, all right, all right. Nigga, she get it. God damn, that long ass explanation. I like you though. I like it. All right, next one. Hold on. So, me and my baby mom, we've been split up for about four years now. Uh, before we split up, we was together about 12 or 13 years. We split up because of her cheating. So amongst them four years, she dated folks, I've dated folks, and we always kept in communication with, with one another because we're friends. You know, I'm still close to her family. She's still close to my family. Um, I've seen her grow up and mature because I'm six years older than her. And I know when we first got together, she was still and mature and I've actually seen her grow up and mature and be more of a responsible person. Uh, my question is, with all that information, would you or would you not take her back? You said she cheated? She cheated four years ago and they broke up and they was together 12 years. She cheated. They broke up four years ago. I guess they were kindling. And she asked him, would she take her back? I mean... Let me go first. No. And you know, you want to know why? I say no. Because... For you to have given her 12 years of your, her li your life, and then she want to cheat, why does she deserve you again in four? You, you, you get what I'm trying to say? That time, that time ain't measuring out. You don't fuck up after 12 and then think you can win me back over four. We could be cool. I even probably tap that. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not giving you my heart again. I, I'm not doing it. I feel like that's a waste of my time. W what you got going on after the four years? You know what I'm saying? I want more to this story type shit. Because what, what what you got going on, you cheated. You Where you been four years? I probably got my little shit I got going on. I'm not finna take you back. I say no. What you say, Mac? I say yes. Of course. I say, look, first off, 12 years, that pussy 12 years old. You know what I mean? Like, motherfuckers won't try some new shit. Like, that's what motherfuckers do. We as human beings, like, monogamy is is new. We used to be polygamous. We used to have multiple relationships with multiple people. You know what I mean? So and it's, it's only natural that you want to step out, especially after so long of being with the same person. You want to try something new. Like, I'm tired of frosted flakes. What these honey nut Cheerios about? You know what I mean? <laughs> I, love my, I love my frosted flakes, but something about these honey nuts, the BB on it, like, I got to see. So I would take it slow, though. You know, I mean, you've seen her mature. You've seen her change. You know, I talk about what the issue, like what happened, why it happened. I mean, and what can we do going forward to prevent it from happening again? And I mean, and I, 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 I try it again. It depends on the cheat, though. Who should cheat with or what they cheat at? Right. Happens. I need more to the story. That too. That might change my answer, but it's still like, folks, I gave you 12 years and you think you can win me back after four, maybe in 12? I'll take you back. That's 24 years total. Pussy gonna be old and dusty right there. Shit, the average human li lived to about 80. They got time. Next one. On the real. Uh -oh, that. Period. Why you know my password to my phone, bro? Because I'm your best friend. Would you just let it ride? What's my social security number? You said I'm gonna knock your ass out. What eight, is it? Eight. I don't even start with eight. I'm from Illinois. One. Just, just play the damn thing. All right. What's good, Mo? It's your girl, Esau, from Esau CBD TV. 
now. What do you do? I work real quick, but I gotta get this question in for Tell It To Mo Tuesdays. Girl, when we gonna get this collab popping though, okay? That's what I want to know. <laughs> when we gonna get this collab popping? <laughs> Two days after never. Next question. Shut the fuck up, back. I got you. I don't know. I be busy, bro. Tell him. I be having a lot of shit going on. You know that shit going on. Why is he here? Why is he here? I got you, bro. I got you. All right, now this entry, she don't have a question. She just wanted to present her talents. So it's a, it's this girl. She rapping. Oh boy. I, <laughs> I guess she that. want our opinion on how she did. Oh, she would hate me. How you know? You ain't even here yet. Because this is another female rapper. Is she white or black? She black. Uh, we don't have any of those out here. No black what? I was sarcastic. Oh. All right, I'm, I'm going to play it for y'all. That beat, I want to get on that beat. Her, I need that beat. Where did you get that beat? Her okay, voice, look. Her voice is flew. It, it was real fluid, real smooth. Mm -hmm. I like She rolled the hell out that beat. She did. F fuck the shit out that beat. No cap. That beat pregnant. And you're so adorable. And I love your natural fro. Period. Look at those lips, though. What are, dude, we don't know how old she is. You think she gone? I hope so. I like she was talking. She is driving seat. She is. Hey, you're a beautiful black woman. If you're young, then you're you're a cute kid. Right. But if you 18 and older. We attempted. You're pretty. I like your smile too. But um you you did your thing, Shawty. No cat. I liked it. That beat. If you just have somebody singing on that chorus, real nice voice, that shit, I like that beat. I I I clock to that beat. Put me on the two, a rapper. Cold. Yeah, yeah, you know man. what I'm saying? Sexy daddy bay right, right there, you know what I'm talking about? You know it. Psych! No, nah, but alright, next one. Chicken did this, so. Chicken did this. Basically over some shit like um when her kids don't get along and they 79 right and I see that you you feel me was with a girl who had you know, you know what I mean it wasn't your kids but it's, it's like how do you like how do you gain a relationship with somebody else's kids man especially when they badass kids yo like me and my girl relationship great, but the simple fact that her kids kind of disrespectful and I be getting irritated with that, like, causes friction in our relationship. So, I need your fucking advice, bro. Help me out. So, she with a girl. With badass kids. With badass kids. The kids disrespectful. Disrespectful. Making all that motherfucking noise. Hey, watch your fucking mouth when you talk to her. Do your fucking shit. Alright, so anyway. She with a girl, um, and she got two kids. What she say? Seven and nine? Mm -hmm. And they disrespectful. You know what I'm saying? What should you do? This is what I would do. You know, I ain't never been in this situation. You know what I'm saying? Logan was eight months. Ava was playing. I, I had them under control from the jump. They don't disrespect me, period. Now... 
What I would do though is I would go to her and I would let her know how you feel. You know what I'm saying? Like your kids, you know what I'm saying? They disrespectful. And do it in a way where she don't feel attacked or she don't feel like a bad parent. Because sometimes people get very offended when you come to them about their shorties. Fuck sometimes, all the time, especially mothers. You know what I'm saying? Because they want to raise them right and shit. Go to her, let her know how you feel them. Try to, you know what I'm saying, even if you if you go to her and she do her thing and then try to, you know what I'm saying, maybe spend some time with the kids on your own and get to know them and try to see, like, what is it that, you know, why, why am I an issue? Is it because I'm not your daddy? You know what I'm saying? Try to figure out what the issue is because they old enough to understand you being disrespectful. You know what I'm talking about? What you think? First off, fuck those kids. It's fuck them I, kids I'm, all 2020. Not my kids. I love my babies. Now, I'm personally, I'm not really used to dating women with kids. Except for, you know, my pregnant. He just fucked up. Except for my white chick. Big ass booty, and she bad. (laughs) Would you come home? The camera did, nigga. We got to hurry up. Like I said, I don't really use dating women with kids. Because kids, they, they do the fucking most, you know? But, like most said, you got to bring that to the mom. That's that's going to be her her job. You know what I mean? She's going to have to get them kids under control. And she can't be disrespecting you either. Because if she disrespects you in front of them kids, them kids ain't going to never stop disrespecting you. Right. What's going right. on in the house? Right. You feel me? If y'all into it and cursing each other out and stuff, the kids probably following behind her. But don't know when y'all in the bed, I'm clapping cheeks. So, yeah. What? Yeah, next one. <laughs> All right, y'all, the quality didn't change because I had to, you know what I'm saying, use my phone, my battery went dead. So we're going to do these last two, and then we're going to call it a wrap. I'm going to try to make it as quick as possible, but I'm a junior in high school, and I like currently talk to this girl that I've kind of like lost feelings for, but I don't know like how to tell her. The thing is, like, I've always still had feelings for my ex. Well, not really ex. It was just, like, more like a situation. I just can't, like, get over her because we really didn't get to give our, like, relationship a try. We just split for an unknown reason. But the thing is, she's currently in a relationship with a guy who just moved over, like, 500 miles away. My question is, should I still try to talk to her and see if she still likes me and maybe pursue something? I don't know. Let me know. Go get your bitch. Oh, my mama. That nigga gone. Fuck dude, clap them cheeks, show her what she been missing on my mama, I don't give a fuck, I don't give a fuck, go get your girl, I ain't mean to call her a bitch, but I was just so excited to say my piece, what you think? I'm only saying that cause she, is, she likes the gay relationship and she don't want to see how to relate sexual relationship. Dude yeah, is 500 I, miles away. Don't, don't, don't put your hand in any way. Oh my God, this but, nigga is a foo But I do agree though, like, go shoot your shot, like. Oh my life, go get, go get baby girl. Man, wine and dine, serenade that mind, and put it in one time on my mama. That's not no kid, don't tell nobody. That's not no kid. She's a junior in high school. Oh, well shit, she, when you turn 18, don't watch this video till you turn 18. We going to jail. <laughs> Look, go get your shorty, folks, on the room. No cap. Right? Yeah, go, yeah, go, go do your thing. Do man. your thing, man. Buddy, Buddy's really a non-factor because he's 500 miles away. Non-fucking so factor. Yeah, I know I need lotion. <laughs> That's oh, all need, right. Right. That's all right. You so, still the man, oh, right? Yeah, I am. Charlie Mac, baby, you know. But, um... Yeah, dude's not a, he's not a fact. All he can do is talk. That's it. Now, if this nigga game A1, you may have an issue because a nigga like me, I can be a million miles away, and I'm going to talk. You know what I mean? Period. But you there face-to-face, though. You right there so with her. So if she feels some type of way, needs some type of um, Love uh, and affection, mm, she going to be there. lonely. He can't pull up on my mama. Unless you, somebody like me there fly me out. Like, Flew out. My thing and, Fly, fly me like back, city girls, right? flew get fooled out. Period. Flown, flued is not a word. They say it flewed out. It's a joke. Calm down, bro. You ugly. First All off. right, look, this is the last one. Come on, my phone ain't got no uh, memory. All right. What's going on, bro? It's your boy named Dalvin. 
Um, I need some advice in my relationship because, like, every time me and my girl get into an argument, she goes on social media and tell her our business and, and try to entertain these people instead of us trying to sit down and work it out and talk it out. Like, what do you think we should do? Well, you kind of answered your own question, but I'm going to tell you something. I once was with a female that did that shit. That shit is annoying as hell. You know what I'm saying? And childish. What it is is, folks, she a kid. You know what I'm saying? She She's not a grown-up. Because real grown-ups don't do shit like that. Because that's how you make people family not like your spouse. And then you got to go back, try to rekindle and make shit right. Like, I've been through that shit. So I know exactly how you feel. But you need to sit her down. Let her know, you know what, baby, we need to handle this like this, this, and this. The way you keep going on social media making me look a damn fool, you know what I'm saying? It ain't what's up. And just holler at her. Let her know, like, man, I ain't with that shit. And if you, if she can't, you know what I'm saying? If she ain't, if she ain't trying to stop doing it, then let her know, she find me a new shawty. What you think? Block that bitch. Block it from that. Block that bitch from everything. And block it from your fucking life. Ain't nothing but uh, poison right there, bro. I'm telling you, bro. She, that shit annoying. I know she, exactly how he feels. I'm, I'm sure this ain't the first time they talk. Like, he probably talked to her about it before. He now bring it to you. He talked to her about it. And she's still going to do it. And she's going to do it tomorrow. She did it yesterday. She's going to do it today. She's never going to stop because... She probably going to react to this video. Right. Oh, God. Tell her to come <laughs> see my sister. She wants to smoke. But... <laughs> um. Yeah, Man, that's, that's uh, crazy. she ain't gonna stop, bro. You need to move around because she she gonna embarrass you, fam. Like you always. That is embarrassing, bro. Then you gotta go to family functions and shit. They didn't seen the status. And like she gonna forgive you eventually for whatever it is that she but mad her about. Family? No, you always gonna be that. You gonna be a fuck nigga forever, bro. Oh God. And it's like I bet you know what I'm saying. I don't know y'all relationship or what's going on. What the issue is, but it's like you know what I'm saying. Let us handle it. You know what I'm saying? It probably ain't even nothing real big or whatever. And she going, putting it on social media, probably making it worse than what it is. I know exactly how you feel, man, but. I found somebody new. Yeah. You ain't finna embarrass me. That's one thing you ain't finna do. On the real. Well, y'all, that's the end of the Tell It To Mo Tuesday. Y'all give it up for my special guest, Charlie Mack. Make sure y'all go over to his channel. Smack that subscribe button. Macadamia, what they call the Mac Pack, Mac Pack, Macadamia Nut Sack, whatever it's called. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, hit that bell so y'all know when I'm dropping bangers. It's almost 2020, Mo Mafia. We hit 40k yesterday. It's lit. And Mo Mafia, we finna get lit because we the shit. Throw up gang. Throw up gang. Are you trying to bully me on camera? Throw up gang right now. How you throw it up? Right here. Like that. Throw up gang. Gay. Okay.